everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Playdates and Travels. If you guys are new to my channel and haven't seen my content before, I do a lot of Disney content and I love talking about all the different Disney deals that you can find, discounts, um, hauls that I get from the latest parks, <laughs> um, merchandise uh, that I've seen, and um, pins, as well as Harry Potter and family life. So that's pretty much my channel in a nutshell. I hope that that is some, some interest to you if you have stumbled upon my channel and that if it is, that you consider hitting that subscribe button right now and that like button to see future content just like this. It helps me know that you guys are appreciating this content and to keep it coming. Um, today I have a fun haul because I just recently went, and by recently I mean um, I am filming this on a Tuesday and on Saturday, just a couple days prior, I did go to Company D once again, yes, the cast member store in California. I have gone there many times before on my channel, um, thanks to my friend who continues to be so gracious as to allow me to be able to go um, either on my own or with him on those opportunities that that arises. Um, one of my other friends, a mutual friend of ours, was able to go to the um, the cast member store at Disneyland here for Disneyland cast members uh, more recently in the past month. She went in March and I was a little bit jealous because she went again more recently and saw a ton of backpacks and I was like, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I have to get there myself and see what they have in person and any fun deals just splurge a little bit for myself because Mother's Day is coming up and I wanted to get a couple of um, good bargains. I just, I'm, I'm a sucker for good Disney deals. So if you too like to see the, t the kind of merchandise that you can get from a Disney cast member store at a steeper discount, then this is gonna be the video for you because I have a ton of things that I picked up myself and that I also had my friend pick up on her most recent trip the week prior to that. So I'm just gonna get right into my haul and share with you. And I'll start with my most biggest, biggest tickets items that I was like, wowzer. This is the most fun stuff that I've seen in a really long time. The last time I went was um, around my birthday. I went the day before my birthday, I believe, or the day after my birthday, uh, day before, I think. And they had some stuff, but it wasn't as much stuff as I saw per, um, re more recently, which makes sense because they also just recently got a ton of new merch going to the outlets around the country. So they must have also had like a big um, bulk of stuff go to the cast member store too, which is great for deals. So some of the deals I saw were similar to what you can find at outlets, but some of them were also different. So I'm going to show you what I got. But the most different thing is that they actually had Disney Parks backpacks and the Parks backpacks are 60 or more depending on what you can find. I did see there was a um, a price for this at $60 at Shop Disney today. So I don't know if that's a discounted price or that's the normal price, but that is what I have to show you. So let me share it. They had the Disney Dogs backpack. This just came out. I remember when they brought this into the parks and how all the Disneyland vloggers were, or even Disney World too, but they were all just like vlogging about this. And it was just like, look at the Disney dogs merch, look at the Disney cats merch. And more recently, they did have some of the, um, the dogs t-shirts as well as leggings come to the outlets. And I did take a part of that. Um, let me show you. It's literally folded in because I was just wearing this the other day, but this is a Disney dog shirt and it does say life is rough with the paw prints and you can see it has some of the silhouettes of the dogs in the background like I, there's jock from lady and the tramp um and then one of uh maybe that scamp from that movie as well there's footstool there's pluto one of my favorite dogs ever little brother from mulan and then of course my favorite 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 dog max from the little mermaid so some of my favorite characters are on this shirt and i happen to love that and then you also have lady right there in the far corner so i did previously pick up this shirt from my outlet i did not pay full price and i think i paid about 12 dollars, maybe 13 dollars for this shirt um because i was super excited that this made it to the outlet and then i also got the leggings but at the cast member store they had the backpack and i was so so excited so the backpacks the way that was working is they sometimes have steeper deals but for the most part when they come to the cast member they're usually 50 percent off so that's what this deal was. It was just 50% off, but I was like, I will take it. So um, around 30 bucks is what this was, but look at this beautiful design. I love that it has the little dog ears on the top. And then you have Max right there, Pluto, Tramp, Lady. I mean, it even has like a little dog color right in the center. That's so cute. And then you have like that same motif wrapped around one of the Dalmatians. So a lot of fun, Percy, uh, and it wraps around on the side and continues on the back. So a very fun little um, Disney Parks lounge fly. And I just recently showed my Disney Parks lounge fly um, collection on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, it's at Plays and Travels. And I have some fun backpacks there, but I had to add this one. I just thought it was really fun. And then the inside, guys, the inside 
has this beautiful like black background filled with paw prints and dog bones. I just love how like this is such a Disney dog themed backpack. If you are a dog lover, you'll probably enjoy this print. So I did grab this one and I grabbed an extra for a live sale in the future, but I just had to grab the backpack to showcase for that. So very excited to have this. And then this is from my friend. She picked this up um, on a previous trip that she went the week before, but they did still have these when I went as well. So um, they also had the Halloween backpacks. These were long sold out from the parks, but they had them in the Cathember store. And you can see this one came out last year for 2020 and it has all the like Halloween treats. Like there's a Halloween Rice Krispie treat. There's marshmallows. There's a mummy. I mean, I just love it. There's a cake pop, um, like bows and candy corn. So ghosts. There's so much fun like Halloween motifs on here. It also says Disney Parks Lounge. Like, I apologize. You guys can hear my son crying in the background. He's obviously very, very tired right now. My husband's trying to deal with him while I film. Um, but I just love Love that you get all the treats all the way around this backpack once again. So fun, so stunning, and I had to grab this for myself as well. So I grabbed an extra once again for a sale. We'll see. I just didn't want to get too crazy, but I got one extra. And then you have all the different treats there on the inside as well. So some fun Disney Parks backpacks. I don't normally go... I've never actually bought a Disney Parks backpack at full price, I don't think. I think I've always gotten them from the outlet or whatnot, um, if I could. And so I was super excited to add this one to my collection as well. And the nice thing about going myself is that I was able to pick out the dog print exactly that I wanted. With the Halloween one, my friend Jessie had to send me a bunch of pictures and I was like, I want that one, send me that one in the middle. And she was like, which one? I was like, bag number two or bag number three. And it was like confusing, but going in person you get to be like, uh, which placement speaks to me the most because there was one placement where there was like max 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 and I was like why are there four maxes all in the diamond around it just didn't make any sense that that's how the pattern was lining up but that's what you get with lounge fly sometimes the patterns are different so you do have to like check each print for the one that speaks most to you so this is a bag that my friend gave me and then I have the one that I went through so I'm gonna get the most recent one then go to my friend's stuff from the week prior to show you the most recent stuff so inside one of the backpacks I got, the customer that helped me actually put a bunch of items. She was like, I'm going to put the loose items in here so they don't go around. And I was like, that's okay. That's fine with me. And one of them is this Rice Krispie Treat keychain. I love food themed um, different treats and snacks like this. And it's a fun keychain. You can see the Rice Krispie part on the bottom and then the chocolate icing on the top that looks just like a real thing. So kind of cute. This looks like it was red in the parks, which is about $10. I don't remember what I paid, but it was not $10, maybe like a couple of dollars. So a nice little keychain to add to my collection. The next big thing in here is the first thing that my daughter picked out, which was this giant lollipop. I'm pretty sure that this was only $2 in the Catherine Burr store, which is crazy for this huge lollipop. You guys can see all the different colors. And it's got the gang on there right in front. You've got Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, and Pluto. So there is a Sensational Six in all their glory and a lot of like fun rainbow colors. My daughter saw this and was like, can I have it mommy? And I was like, I guess sure. Cause I did take my daughter with me and I wanted to have her have a shopping spree trip. So a lot of the stuff that we picked out was actually for her as well. So this was one of them. The other thing was this Bo Peep toy, which I had her film. So I'll enter that clip <laughs> where she quickly showed it. We got a Bo Peep set. Okay, so what's in the Bo Peep set, Isabella? Mm-hmm. Actually, just one. I can see the Bo Peep doll and a hat. She's posable. Ooh. So it's a Toy Story 4 set. It, has, it comes with one outfit. I mean, two outfits because it's one. That goes with the Bo Peep doll at first. And one that, that makes a change. It has one cone and a, li and a little police officer. Nice. Can you turn it around so I can see what's in the back of the box? This is what the back looks like. Oh, nice. She's doing like a karate job. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for showing us your lovely new toy. Thank you for watching. And then in addition to the Bo Peep um, toy, she also picked out some plushes for herself. They had these treats. They actually had a number of these wishable bags. These are $10 in the parks, and they were discounted to 5 and so they had the treats one. They had Jungle Cruise. They had Beauty and the Beast, which I bought myself. I actually have, well, they're down now, but I have in my background. And um, they also had Coco. Those are the four bags. They had in addition to 
the bags themselves. They had a couple of loose wishables, but I grabbed these because I've never actually opened these before and I thought that was kind of fun. You have a Dole Whip one, you have a Mickey's Premium Ice Cream Bar, you have a cookie cream, Cookies and Cream Ice Cream Sandwich, or you have a Strawberry Ice Pop. So all fun treats. So I'll throw them on the bag and I'll have my daughter open these later so we can see what we got. But we have two fun bags here, so we grabbed that. Then they had a couple of hats and one of the ones we grabbed was this one that my daughter wanted. It says, nothing can stop a princess has a pink crown, kind of like Aurora themed, and then this nice shiny pink metallic design. My daughter really wanted it with the mesh backing. Um, so this is a like youth size hat and my daughter really wanted it. So we grabbed this for her because she picked this one out. And then we also grabbed some of the hats that I had previously shown in my big outlet haul. If you guys watched that when I went to the outlet most recently past week, they had a bunch of hats and the Captain store had them too, except that they had them even cheaper then the outlet had them. So I was like, wait a second, I just paid extra dollars, you know, a couple dollars extra. Let me just rebuy those hats for cheaper because that's how I, go, I roll sometimes. So I did get another stitch hat just like last time. So now I currently have two. And this was the one from the cast member store. And it's just like the other one I tried on in my outlet video. He's got cute little ears on top. His hands are outstretched and even have his little like tuft of hair right there. So really cute design all around. And the top of this it's kind of like a, um, it's not felt, maybe it's felt, it's just a very soft material to kind of feel like it's stitches skin, you know, so it's more like animal-like. I, I don't know what I'm talking about, you know, but at any rate, then they also had this hat, which if you guys saw my outlet, I did show that I bought this because I just saw it was a really cute hat, but I was annoyed when I saw that this is not only a fun youth hat with Mickey Mouse and then all this fun, like, sketch pattern things for the ink and paint set, but it comes with a set of markers. My outlet did not have the markers attached. They were selling these hats, for the same exact hat, the very exact same hat, without the marker set. So you can actually take these fabric markers and color onto this hat directly. I thought that was actually a really cool little design feature. And like I said, the outlet did not come with the markers. So I rebought this hat because I was like, wait a second, mine was incomplete. So not only was this cheaper, but there's also an accessory that I was completely missing. So if you guys have an outlet near me, near you, let me know in the comments, did yours come with the markers? Because ours didn't, and I was like, I was gypped. <laughs> and in addition to that, um, I also got one of these cups for my daughter. I showed it to her and she was like, oh my gosh, that is adorable, mom, <laughs> something like that. And we had previously gotten a Little Mermaid one that our friend picked out for us, and I have that later in the footage, I will show that. Um, from March, um, but we saw this one this time and they had an Aladdin one. And it's kind of like a kid's like sipper cup with the whole Aladdin theme, but look at this. It's got the the magic carpet, my favorite scene from the entire movie of Aladdin and Jasmine on the magic carpet. You've got Raja, you've got Sultan's Palace. It's just so beautiful. There's Jasmine holding the lamp with Genie and there's Aladdin. There's so much glitter in this cup. And then it's got like a nice watery effect with a bunch of little, um, little um, lamps. That's actually a nice touch because like these cups are just fun to have the water always spinning. It's not actually liquid inside, but it's like in the design of the cup on the exterior part. And it just makes it lots and lots of fun. And then it has a fun little straw where there's Genie and he will slide up and down depending on when you drink this. So I just thought this was a fun little cup. I showed it to my daughter and she was like, yes, mommy, I want it. I love the purple colors on here as well. And my daughter didn't need a new cup. Um, we always are losing cups. So we're going to go ahead and give her this one as well. It's got like a nice little round bottom at the bottom. I just noticed it for the first time, but super cute little kid's cup. Had to get and add that added to our collection. And there's only a couple more things in here, but they did have one pair of ears. They didn't have too many ears actually when I went this time, which is a little bit odd. Um, but the ones that they had, I've already seen, so I didn't pick them up, but they had these. I hadn't had a chance to get these before. So this is the rainbow ears. So that might be kind of fun with June coming up, June Pride. And so it's nice fun rainbow on the center bow. And then you have a nice black shiny metallic ear on either side. So these are Disney Parks ears and I think these are really stunning. So had to grab a pair of those. And then I grabbed a pair of Christmas socks because you can never go wrong with Christmas socks. And it does say Joy and you can see it has Minnie Mouse on this one side and then she's on that side as well. So some fun Christmas socks for the season. And then finally the thing that I grabbed, the last thing from this particular um, bag, I have two bags so it's not it, but um, for this particular bag, I have a bunch of postcards they had, and I just thought this was really nice. So they had, um, the artist of here is John Coulter. It says, original artwork of Lady Tremaine Reigns. So this is Lady Tremaine, and it is from John Coulter. And look at how regal she looks. 
she's in like a portrait um kind of design and I just thought that was really stunning and artistic and just pretty and I didn't have anything Lady Tremaine and she's one of my favorite Disney villains and it's so hard to find merch for her so I thought this was a really fun um postcard that I had to grab then I grabbed one that was more um for Halloween aesthetic and it is the Hatbox Ghost and his facial expression here actually looks really cool. This is a different artist. This one is from Bill Robinson and it's called the Hatbox Ghost Montage. And all these postcards, by the way, were $6 in the parks, but at the company store, Company D, they were $1.99, um, $2. So discounted further. And you can see that is the Hatbox Ghost. So that was really nice with the nice candle bra on the bottom. We've got that in the ceiling. Nice, fun and spooky design for Halloween or just Haunted Mansion lovers in general. Then they had one of Anna and Elsa together with the leaves from Frozen 2. You even have um, their friend, one of the, uh, he's the fire changing, I forget the name, oh my gosh. But there you go. They have this beautiful design and there's Anna and Elsa, sisterly love in the nice new outfits. Very, very pretty. By the way, the cast member store also had Anna's, um, Elsa's boots and her dress for sale but they were kind of pricey so I, my daughter wanted it and I was like it's still like $60 something like that maybe it was 50 but I was just concerned that Halloween's a long time away from now my daughter's at an age where she is quickly outgrowing things I didn't want to get the wrong size so I actually did not buy that and hopefully I don't regret that later on <laughs> um and then the last thing that I got was just this um I got an extra lady train for my friend Christine asked me to pick that up for her but then I also got one from John Coulter and this is the one of Ursula as well. So I had to get my number one favorite villain, Ursula. She just looks so stunning here, all her tentacles around her with the bubbles. So super pretty and I really like how these turned out. You can see the crown features, just a really fun postcard. And at those prices, I was just like, let's just add on all the fun postcards as much as possible. In my second bag here, I actually have, um, a number of more of those bags. I did get the Jungle Cruise one. This is my bag for Christine. She asked me to get her seven bags. So I got her four of the treats, I believe, and then three of these Jungle Cruise ones. So hopefully we got nice picks for her. She'll have to show you guys on her channel eventually in the future, but that's what comes in the back. So that's kind of cool. You do have the Tiger, Jungle Navigation Skipper, Hippo, and then the boat. And I actually did get two of these at least in my giveaway that I won recently so I did have a chance to try these without actually opening these so that's kind of cool and then the last bag that I picked up from my run you can see is in this nice big bag here and let's go through the additional items that I picked up I did not get this on this trip but my friend Arturo did pick this up for me in his previous trip and it was the Lunar New Year notebook sets. I did show you that I had gotten this previously in Lunar New Year um, season, but he knows I'm a big Lunar New Year fan, so he got me another box, and I've been using them for extra stationery and also as gifts, so I really appreciate that gesture because these were at the outlet, um, the company D store as well. The next major thing I got is another lounge fly. They have the wallet, and it was discounted down to $25, so I kind of couldn't resist, but let me just show you this beautiful print that I really fell in love with. First of all, it's got a country bear on the front. How much time, how many times do you see country bears on merchandise? I just thought that was crazy. So here is the country bear. That is so awesome. You've got orange bird. You've got Donald Duck. You've got a, a Mickey Mouse treat. You've got the Tiki bird, Minnie, Goofy, pirate dog. It's a small world. Another country bear <laughs> um, icon there. And then you also have the pirate um, insignia there from Pirates of the Caribbean. So, so much fun. Dumbo, Mickey pretzel, the castle. Um more pirates. It just wraps all the way around. There's a Jolly Roger, Pluto's head. I just thought this was really cute. I liked the placement here. Um, so I did go ahead and grab this. I just thought it was a really fun design. And then this is a Disney Parks Loungefly exclusive as well. This is the inside. It's just like a nice like card holder and wallet section. Really, really nice and sturdy and has a coin purse um, pouch as well. So I can't wait to go ahead and dabble in this a little bit. It's just a fun item. I just kind of had to be like splurge to get this. One thing I didn't get that I kind of regret, but I'm kind of just like, I couldn't spend any more money. They had the Hocus Pocus Disney dress shop dresses. The ones that retail for $128 in the parks, they had them in the store for $35. And they had my size. I'm pretty sure. I've only tried on a couple of dresses, but I'm pretty sure it was my size. And I was this close to getting it. My one hesitation is that you can't try things on in the store really. It's hard to put a dress on in a store. 
um, and with the pandemic they don't really want you to do that anyway but then you also can't make returns to this store so once you buy anything all sales are final I just didn't want to buy a dress that wasn't gonna fit me and then be stuck with it and then feel like girl I should have got a different size so that's why I hesitated kind of on the fence about that decision but I just didn't get it but they had the hocus pocus dress guys I I just can't I mean that was an amazing deal if you guys have watched my channel before you guys know that I'm really into popcorn bucket and they had one from the parks that I was like wow so this is the Lion King popcorn bucket it has Simba etched here I actually bought this for a friend before and sent it to her and now I have another one but there's a Lion King um Simba figure this is from the live action film obviously but um or the CGI film it wasn't really live action but you also have a little symbol right there so lots of fun with the strap it came in this plastic container so I just thought that was really cute and it's like a little drum so cool then they had some Halloween treats so I did go ahead and grab some of those I have the spice apple cider caramel apple cider and red apple cider from the parks these are Disney hot cocoa um, type of tins but they're cider for the Halloween season for the fall and the great news about this is that each of these containers says it's best if used by 2023 so we have time before this expires great deal this next item I believe was it's fairly new and five dollars I hesitated to buy this because we have so much kitchen gear but I love kitchen stuff and again five dollars and it's from the California Food Adventure, Food and Wine Fe uh, Festival. Um, they did have a number of California Food and Wine Festival items from 2020 last year, which lasted for like a week before the pandemic started. Um, but this one is one that I had to grab because it's a pie plate. You can actually put a pie in here and then use this beautiful container to make it. I just thought that was really pretty. I love how Chef Mickey is holding up the tray, making, I don't know, it looks like there's all kinds of fun stuff, some kind of uh, nice cuisine though. I'm gonna say 2020 Food and Wine Festival has wine bottles, different ingredients, and it says life is too short. Eat! So super fun and cute and how to grab this beautiful little pie plate in this nice navy color all the way around. Then I grabbed another wishable and it was Sully! I love Sully! So I had to grab him. He's so cute. I didn't previously have this from the parks and yeah, I had to grab this. These are $10.00. I think I grabbed him for a couple of dollars and he's soft and cute and I love him. So yay to Sully. <laughs> he matches my popcorn bucket version of him that I have down there. The next majority of things in here is clothing. Let me show you what I got just real quick. I did grab this shirt that says I'm such an Ariel. It's a nice purple shirt. These were also in some outlets by the way, but I did not see this previously in my size. This one wasn't my size, so I got it. I'm such an Ariel. And then on the back it does say collector loves leg day and a good swimmer. So something fun and cute and festive. So these are nice soft shirts. I did previously buy the I'm Such Cinderella shirt from the outlet. And since I had Ariel, which is more my speed, I had to get that too. And for my daughter, I got her a Christmas spirit jersey. I had to. It's in her size and it was beautiful. And it does have the Disney D with Minnie Mouse on the front. So that was like nice and festive. There's Minnie Mouse. Look how like sparkly this is. There's sparkles all throughout. So cute. And then on the back is embroidered in the nice green font, the Disneyland Resort logo as well. So a nice, fun, cute little spirit jersey for my daughter. Then I grabbed, oh my gosh, I have to show my husband this, I forgot. I don't know if he's gonna wear this, but I just saw it, that was a really cute shirt and kind of funny and I had to. And the original price on this was $25 um, in the parks, but I forget the price. I think it was like $5, something like that. So I was like, if he doesn't wear it, it was only a couple of dollars, but I had to try it. It has Tramp first and foremost, which I love Lady the Tramp, so that's fine, but look what it says on the shirt. Well trained. <laughs> Do you think he would object to wearing this shirt? Guys watching my videos, would you wear this shirt? I just think it's super cute. So well trained. Have to give this to my husband and see his thoughts. The next thing is this red shirt. Oh, it's inside out. Not sure how that happened, but let me turn it around so I can show you what it says. I'm a big 90s kid, so this is another 90s iconic show. DuckTales, woohoo! Has Huey, Dewey, and Louie, says Disney DuckTales, and then on the bottom it does say woohoo! So I love this. I love the color of this shirt as well. It's a really nice design, so I had to grab this just for my little 90s kickback. Then they had this all over print that was Pixar themed and I really like this a lot. This is an all over Disney Pixar um, shirt and you guys can see different icons like there's Anger, 
There is Lightning McQueen, Miguel from Coco, the Pixar ball, has Jesse, has the Tower of Terror, um, the Tree of Life, Sully, Mike, Edna Mode, Baby Jack Jack. Um, I believe the castle's on here. There's Merida, um, Green Alien, there's Woody, there's Jesse on here. There's a castle up there. Um, but it just wraps all the way around all these different icons. There's Eve, and it continues on the back. You guys can see it. I just thought that was super fun and festive. So many different icons going on with the Pixar shirt. I love a Pixar, so that was really fun and had to grab that one as well. And then finally, I rebought the Lunar New Year shirt. I did have this previously. I showed this in my videos from the Lunar New Year season earlier this year, but they had this in the outlet and they were selling this for $5, so I had to get it again. Um, and <laughs> I just love it because it's nice and shiny. This is the girl one. They also had the men's Lunar New Year shirt and then they also had the spirit jerseys. And the spirit jerseys, my friend had gotten me over the week prior. I'll show that to you shortly. And it was 30 when I bought it. They actually had discounted it $10 cheaper. It was 20 now, but like I said, you cannot return things. So I was like, you snooze, you lose. I bought it for $10 more, but it's okay because I at least have it for a nice price. But this is the shirt um, from this year. And you guys can see it has Mickey Minnie on the Ox. And this design was repeated throughout the Disney designs this year for Lunar New Year. And I'm such a big fan of it. And then on the back, you have this fun design on the corner as well. So lots of fun little shirts that I was able to pick up from the store. My second to last item is here and it's just a trinket plate from the Food and Wine Festival as well. Oh, it's Festival of the Holidays, excuse me, from the previous years, actually from the 2019 Festival of the Holidays, which is the last time that we actually had this festival happen because we did not have it this past year. And it says Disney California Adventure Park and it's got all kinds of different icons, including the menorah and a Mickey um, wheel, and then you've got a wreath for Christmas, and it's just kind of fun stuff, and you have a Kwanzaa symbol, and a Santa hat, and it's all in blue, so this could be like any holiday. I really like how they did this, but it's a fun little holiday trinket plate, and had to go ahead and grab that to add to my collection. Something that's fun. I just love holiday decor, and this will be a nice addition to that. And then finally, I grabbed two of these. I'm just gonna unbox one. But they have these little wine tumblers from the parks. It does say, have a grape day on this side. Have a grape day with a grape. And then on this side, it does say, Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival 2020. So something from the Food and Wine Festival, and you could put like any kind of soda in here or wine or whatever and just drink it. I thought that in fact that it was branded, it's an official cup. Um, these were $15 originally in the park. They were selling these for either $1.50 or $2.00. Something significantly low like that. It was just like a major deal. I was like, okay, I'll grab two. So I did grab two just to have one for me and my husband to share and something fun. So that is my haul that I picked up and now I can show you the stuff that I had my friend pick up the previous week. So from the previous week, my friend did give me this bag of stuff and I already showed you the Halloween backpack that I had her pick me up. And then in addition to that, I also grabbed one of the Lunar New Year Spirit Journeys as I mentioned and this is what it looked like from this year. Beautiful design. It does have the Happy New Year symbol in the center um, with the cow, <laughs> the ox. Has lots of fun little designs all throughout. Hopefully that's coming out on camera. So it's very light but beautifully embroidered into the spirit jersey throughout. And this is a unisex jersey. Um, and then on the back, it's got the Happy New Year sign again in this gold embroidered font. So beautiful. So I've never owned any Lunar New Year um, spirit jerseys, but I do now, thanks to the, the cast member store. And you can see there is Mickey in his outfit looking so cute on the bottom. They did have the plushes as well. They were discounted, I, I want to say to $15, something like that. I already own both of them. I got them for earlier in the season, so I did not dabble on that, but they did have that as well. The only thing they didn't have that I was hoping they would have is the Lunar New Year cup because I never got the tumbler this past year. Looked at it, thought about it, posted about it on Instagram, my Instagram story, and I was like, I really wanted it, but sadly they didn't have it, so, oh well. Sometimes you can't get everything you want. Then also in here, my friend was able to pick up for me a pair of the um, villains tights. They did have the leggings with the all-over print with the villains, so I really like that. There's the Evil Queen, Maleficent. Um, it looks like Ursula is right there below that with um, Captain Hook and um, Corella de Vil, and there's the hag. Just so many fun things going throughout these pans, and I'm a really big, like, leggings person, so I had to grab this for myself, or my friend grabbed it for me. 
at my request. Then they had the Haunted Mansion ears. I did have my friend pick this up for me. I had never had gotten these before, so now I do have a pair and it's like the purple embroidered version with the wallpaper design and the black lacy puffy bow. I really like this. I used to have the original version of these ears and I sold them with the intention of buying these and they never did. So I now have the ones with the tombstones and I also have this one so that is super fun for um, Haunted Mansion for Halloween season. And that's what the back looks like. So a nice little pair. Thanks to the Castle for Store. If you like Wishables, they had the Castle one, which I have been trying to get from the parks and it sold out. So I was super excited to see this in the Castle for Store. It's got the beautiful little face in the front. I love this. It's like seeing Beauty's Castle. And I just think it's really fun, the little turrets and everything. So I'm really happy about that. And now I have that Wishable. I got another one of the Wishables of the Pirate Dog because I've gotten this previously and I sold it at my live sale. This is a really popular little Wishable, so I had to grab another one because I just think he's really cute and wanted to keep him from the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And then I also got Gus, I believe. This Gus, yeah, Gus <laughs> from Haunted Mansion. I always get my hitchhiking goes confused. So awesome little plush. This is the open edition one and now I have it. So that was pretty cool. My friend threw this in for me, um, but she, they also had these Mickey Mouse lollipops. I didn't ask for this. She just threw this in for my kid. She's such a sweetheart slash mean because then she also gave it to my son in the car and sugared him up. Thanks again, Jesse. Oh, and one more wishable. They also had Olaf. I am regretting not picking up another one of these when I was there because I'm planning on giving this to someone for a swap because I think he's so cute though and I kind of want to keep him for myself. So that is the one that got away, but Olaf is, I think, my favorite of the entire series. I had never seen this one before, and I absolutely love him. I missed the whole Frozen theme when they came out with that one. And finally, the last thing in here is pin, so I can switch on to that. Um, she did grab me one pin from her trip, and it was the Disney Magic Happens, the Disneyland Sorcerer Mickey hat. This is a parade that was taking place in Disneyland shortly before the pandemic started, so I never got a chance to see this. My friend did, so it was fine, um, but I love the logo of this with the Sorcerer Mickey hat, so I had to grab one of those pins. It wasn't that much money, so a nice cheap trader price. I did also get a, one of these Chinese Zodiac pin boxes. I showed on my channel recently that I was pretty um, well into collecting almost all of them. I was able to trade for four recently, so I now have more than half, I believe. I have Pluto... Piglet, Mickey, the Ox, Tigger um, on the top, so that's five. And then below that, I have Maximus, Ka, and Mushu. So I know for a fact that I'm missing the White Rabbit, I'm missing the Sheep, and I'm missing Chicken Little, that's three, and I might be missing Abu, which is four. So I'm only missing four pins, or three pins from this set, and there are two that come in this box, and it's discounted. These are $16 in the parks, but I believe I paid seven or 750 or something like that so slightly less than half and I was like let's just go for it and let's check it out and see and then for the other pins I picked up for my trip they have the Thanksgiving 2021 with Chip and Dale and a Mickey pumpkin I happen to love the Mickey pumpkin had never gotten this pin for myself before so I had to get this I do like that the Mickey pumpkin is rubberized and sticks out of this pin I only have one other Thanksgiving pin so that would be a cute addition to my collection the next one in here is actually not a pin but it is a magnet I was wondering what happened to this I was like I'm pretty sure I'd pick this up this is the 2020 food and wine festival magnet it says crushing it at the top and has Chip and Dale playing and stepping into um, what looks like a grape and splashing it onto Chip and he looks angry so that is such a cute little design I love magnets. I'll have to put that on my fridge right now when I get um, done filming, but a fun, cute design. Um, then they had um, a couple of Halloween ones, so I'll show you that shortly. They also had, oh no, it got bent. Okay, well, the Cassimber tried to protect it by putting it into the thing, but in doing so, she bent my Happy Holidays pin. But I do have a Pluto Grand Californian one. I had previously only gotten the other one um, for Disneyland Hotel because I didn't want to spend the full price, but I'm super glad that I got this at a discount now and able to add this to my collection of Disney dogs. Pluto is my favorite dog, so I'm happy to add this one as well. And it's got a bunch of different um, ornaments and grapes and treats and whatnot. This whole series last year was beautiful. I love the holiday pins that come out every year anyway. But as you guys can see, this was originally an $18 limited edition pin, so I was super excited to get this one for not $18. Um, then I had an open edition pin, and this was silver, so $10, and it's Minnie Mouse as a witch. She has a book with a bunch of candy treats around her and looks very fun and festive um, in witch form. And this is a fun Halloween pin. I didn't previously have this one, so I decided to get this since it was a discounted price, only a couple of dollars. And then finally, they had this one behind the counter. 
and it was a cast member exclusive Happy Halloween pin. Um, it does say Disney Parks class exclusive limited edition pin. You could only get this last year if you were a cast member. I was not, but since I was at the cast member store with my friend, I was able to get this. So it's super awesome. I love fun, unique pins. And it's Mickey Mouse making a weird expression. He's like, oh, look, he's kind of scared. It says, Happy Halloween 2020. He's wearing a top hat with a, um, a pumpkin on top. And then it's a spinning wheel with a bunch of different treats and stars and all kinds of fun, festive things. And I do love that it spins. I love movable pins. So I had to get in on this game. I'm super excited to have this pin added to my collection. Very grateful that I could get my hands on that. I love unique pins. So that is everything that I have bought from the cast member store, either myself or through my friend. Super grateful for that. I can show you two more items from the outlet, um, the regular outlet, just to, to wrap this all up. One of them is a shirt that I'm wearing right now. is a tank top. And you've got Metallic, Mickey, and Minnie. And I just love their colors. They are so stunning. And it's a very, very soft tank top. When I saw this in the outlet, um, I asked my friend to pick it up because I went to return something and I didn't have time to get it myself. So she did pick this up for me. Thanks again, Jesse. Appreciate that. They also had these little... Um, wallet card holders. So I had previously had this one that I did get from Company D a couple of years ago and it's the It's a Small World design. I have the matching backpack so I had to get the matching um, wallet and then in addition to the matching wallet I now have the matching card holder because they just brought the card holder to the outlet not to the Company D store but to the outlet. So when I saw this I had to grab it. It has the clock face on the front. You can open up the flap and put your cards in both an alternating of white with polka dots or this nice gold trim and then the back it continues that as well so something fun and festive that they had the outlet had to do that and then finally the last item is actually the pants that i am wearing right now i ordered these from online from shop disney at full price i think like two dollars off or something using my 10 percent visa discount but they had them at the outlet and i always thought that they were kind of big i ordered larger but before i even had a chance to order these um pants before and so my friend got me a size down and I saw this at the outlet, so I did get this from her as well. And this is a design. They are beautiful. Have so many different park icons all over the place. I love the print on this one, which is why I already had owned it. I saw this online and literally freaked out. And now they have these at certain outlets around the country. And so thanks to my friend, I was able to grab another size in, um, hopefully, what will be my actual size. I'm excited for this and so thankful to show you guys this haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below. Have you had a chance to go to a cast member store? Um, in Florida, it's called Cast Connections. Over here is Company D. They're both the same thing pretty much though, as far as I, I can tell. And I'm super great, grateful as always to be able to go in that store and have a fun shopping spree, which is what this basically was. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I hope to talk to you guys soon in the next video and take care. Bye.